Hey there friends, how's it going? My name is Kevin and today we're playing The Sims 2. This man right here is the most unlucky sim to ever exist. He's been on fire approximately 700 times. He hardly ever has enough money to buy food. He got abducted by aliens and these are his twins. He hates his neighbor Vidkund who I romanced to move in and then trapped him on the patio and is now forced to breed alien babies and is actually in the alien craft right now being impregnated as we speak. And you're all caught up, let's go. If you want to keep up with this story by the way, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so my mission today is to make Vidkund have as many babies as possible. <laughs> hey, don't cough on the baby. Actually, I don't care about the baby. Yeah, cough on the baby. <laughs> All right, test tube one. That is their name, by the way. <laughs> We're kind of done with you now. You stay there <laughs> and wait for an act of God to happen. <laughs> Also, someone informed me last time. Oh, it's back. Okay, I sold one of the graves, but someone told me that is very risky. It can corrupt your save file. Actually, when I say that, I mean dozens of people told me that in the comments. Honestly, I think I might just continue to make grilled cheese because that's what makes him happy. <laughs> and try and open a little restaurant when my cooking gets good and just serve grilled cheese. Bitcoin is sick with the flu. Oh my god, he's probably just killed the whole alien race. He's took an unknown virus to space. Unfortunately, they're all sick with the flu. And I don't own any beds to actually be able to lie down. I think the repo man took my last bed. I can afford one, so I guess I'll buy one for me. My impregnable fortress. I might buy this for Vidkun at some point. <laughs> for now, I'll buy this ugly bed. Make sure the door is locked for me only and get some sleep. Hey, 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 you. I didn't tell you you could bring the baby inside. Quick, put the baby here. There you go. It's the perfect plan. And the driver just be like, what the hell are you doing? The kids both want to get into private school, so I might lock that. And you know what? I'll invite the headmaster over for a bit of dinner. And when I say dinner, I mean just plates upon plates of grilled cheese. Wait, oh, I was so confused because I was just looking at the baby on the ground on front of the car and a cutscene engaged. And I was like, oh no, what's going to happen here? I've unlocked an Easter egg. Welcome back, Vidkund. It's like you left it in front of the car. Oh, the car is gone. Oh, the baby fell asleep. Nothing like hot tarmac to make you fall off to sleep. Oh my God, that's so, I'm such a bad person. All right, and now he's locked on the porch again. And if you missed the last episode, by the way, he's able to get food from here because the only counter we can serve food on is there and he can reach it from both sides so we do feed him we're not that cruel actually no it's worse because i'm keeping him alive just to breed him so yeah it is actually it's it's bad the local private school headmaster is interested in coming for dinner uh yes why do they also play the most obnoxious music they can find keep walking yeah that's right keep walking yeah there you go i just realized i invited the headmaster over and i don't even have any chairs maybe if i sell this wall to this very important wall i <laughs> I hope it's not load bearing or anything. I wouldn't want to get in trouble, but I think I'm okay. <laughs> All right, that gave me a 56 bucks, which essentially doubled my money. It's 55. Okay, I can afford one. I don't want to spend all my money on a chair. So there you go, headmaster. You can sit there. Listen to the gentle hum of the toaster oven. Way. <laughs> Yeah, it's locked. <laughs> you can't get out. Hey, Bill, 602. I have 58. Can we negotiate? <laughs> Change appearance. Yeah, I wouldn't mind getting Vidkund a bit of a fresh appearance. The beard? <laughs> it looks like he's been trapped in here for years. I'll give you that fresh motherly glow. You look like a serial killer right now. There you go. You like it? <laughs> He looks ridiculous. I'm gonna have to sell this thing because they keep turning it on and it's actually really annoying music all the time. It's just too loud. I brought a friend home from work. Oh, that's probably not a good idea. Oh, you woke the baby with your engine. Stop beeping at him. He doesn't understand social etiquette. He doesn't get what the beep means. It's just a loud noise to him. Stop. He's like, ew, gross. Road baby. Oh! <laughs> I didn't know that was possible. <laughs> I thought he was actually going to die for a second. <laughs> oh my god. See, it doesn't like being inside. Put it out on the road again. <laughs> He's shooing them out. <laughs> See, this is why you should have left the baby on the road and Vidkun should be shooed out here. Why are you complaining the door is locked? Why are you trying to come into my bedroom? I need some, like, comfort item for Vidkun. Like, he is pregnant after all, but he keeps complaining that he's no comfort. Warnable easy chair. Perfect. That's grand. I'll spend all my money other than $3 on this crappy chair. It's ruined, but sure, it's for Vidkun anyway. He's just gonna claw at it. Now that I think about it, I should probably buy him, like, a little couch or something so he can actually <laughs> have a nap or 
or something. No, d idiot! <laughs> I just bought this for you. <laughs> you don't appreciate what I do for you, and what I do for you is very little, so you're not exactly encouraging me to do more. Okay, uh, teens, you're gonna have to get jobs or something because this is a feckin' struggle. I don't have enough money to care for both of you, myself, and Vidkund. A cement mixer. Perfect. What? Your grades need to improve before you can get a job. What? Why? I want to be a cement mixer. Why does it matter if I know math or not? I was just about to say, why is my hygiene not going up from the pool? Because the repo man took my bath. I have no way of cleaning myself. But I guess two people did die in it. So <laughs> it's probably not the cleanest of pools. No, just feckin' learn one body point. I really need you to get a promotion because I need some money. And other than selling gravestones, I have no real way of earning. Oh no, the maid just took something because I couldn't afford to pay her. What are you taking? Please you took the toaster oven. Literally the only thing we need to survive and you took it. I have five mouths to feed and you can't just order in grilled cheese. Like I don't want pizza or Chinese food. Me want grilled cheese. It's raining. Quick, go outside so we can get cleaner. <laughs> Conjure grilled cheese. Oh yeah, I forgot I could do that. They're <laughs> like, oh, what's he up to now? <laughs> Yummy grilled cheese. Okay, go to work. If you tell anyone about my ability to conjure grilled cheese, I'll tell everyone that you ran over a baby. <laughs> the poor guy is, I think, actually dying from the flu. <laughs> And he's out in the rain. <laughs> oh my god, I don't even have a roof over this part of the bathroom. Do roofs cost money? No? Oh, okay, then I can get whatever roof I want. I'm gonna go with something fancy. Yeah, that'll do it. That'll keep us dry. Good lord, that is obnoxious. <laughs> go to work. Should I allow him to go to work? You know what? Feck it. I'm leaving you out of your cage for once. I need the money, so have fun at work. Don't talk to anyone. <laughs> what? <laughs> Who is this? Why are you pushing her? It's like, shouldn't you be in the cage? <laughs> Who are you? I don't, I've never met you before. <laughs> oh, Test Tube's one's birthday is only a day away. Jesus, how did you make it this far? I genuinely have no idea. Wait, whose ghost is that? Oh, one of the people I killed in the pool. Ah, oh, well, forget about that. I got a promotion. Yes, good job, Kevin. You're doing great. You're really moving up in the world. If you think anyone's gonna hug you, you got another thing coming, though. Not only because there's not a lot of love in this family, but you stink, dude. I'm gonna pay my bills for the first time ever. <laughs> I have bill paying money. <laughs> so this this is how it feels to be successful. Can I afford anything that will work on my hygiene? Is that? No. Even even just like the shower head is 425. How did he get a promotion when he stinks that bad? Maybe because they couldn't get anyone to take his place as a mascot after soiling the suit. Oh, Vidkun's on maternity leave. Oh, oh, that can't be good for the baby. So that's where the baby got this sleeping and traffic trait. <laughs> like father, like son. Oh, and now your previous roommate is scaring you. Hey, 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 you're not allowed on that. You're not allowed on that. That's not yours. Oh, they're feckin' blocking each other. Just get out of each other's way, for God's sake. No, you're not allowed nap. It's Vidkun's thing. He's pregnant. Come on. Okay, we clearly need to lock this so only he can go in there. Him going to work is just not worth it, is it? Okay, I can afford this shower now, at least. All right, take a shower. Thank you, Vidkun, for earning a bit of money. Oh, that must be good. <laughs> Isn't showered in days. Oh, I forgot the toaster oven. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I'll have to get that soon, too. I think the headmaster's coming today. What the hell was that? What pissed you off now? Oh, the fact that you pissed. Okay. Wait, no, 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 no. You're not allowed in there. You're not allowed to hug your child. That was removed from you. Wait, who died? Oh, shit. <laughs> Sorry. I had more pressing matters to attend to. Vidkun was escaping. Oh, he's gone absolutely crazy. Oh, no. <laughs> this is just a disaster. How did she even die? Of hunger or, or lack of fun or what happened? All right, let's move it outside. Here lies ZX Sniper ZX said the YouTuber. I just put it outside with the others. Anyway, back to the bathroom with you, Vidkund. You are banished once again. I understand now what happened. He was able to use the door because the sim it was locked for had died. <laughs> I was confused. All right, lock for all sims now. It's good to keep an extra door in case we get another member of the family or anything. I was so curious, ironically, because that's his name. I was curious how he got out of there and he didn't do it all along. Like, if he had the power to just walk out all this time, why hadn't he done it? <laughs> but now it makes sense. I wonder if the headmaster's still coming. Surely you deserve some sort of grant or something when he sees how poor your life is. <laughs> like, you really are against the odds here, aren't you? I know you're a D-plus student, but the fact you're even alive is a miracle in itself. This is what happens when there's a weekend and you have no food from school, you know? Oh, there's no food in the fridge. Okay, you can make it to lunchtime, right? I'm sure you can. I have faith in you. Meanwhile, I'll be locked in my room conjuring grilled cheese. <laughs>
<laughs> He's so happy with himself. Yummy, yummy, I know. No, no time for toilet. Get up. <laughs> Mid bowel movement. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Yes, there we go. School will take care of you. They'll feed you and potty train you because I know I never did. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Vidkun's left alone with the baby now for the first time in forever. And all he can do is look at it from the viewing window. <laughs> He's not allowed actually into it. Oh, and we didn't leave him food. Oh shit. Okay, he's just in school till 1 p.m. and then he can get you some food. Don't worry, he'll be back soon. Okay, he's back and, and pissed off. <laughs> he does not care about school anymore. I don't really blame him. All right, sell the feckin' radio. It's annoying me anyway. We need the money for food. No, don't fall asleep. Vidkun needs his feeding. Will you stop crying and just order pizza? You can cry into the pizza if you want. He literally can't order food because he's crying so much. Okay, um, how can I do this? I need to fix this situation. I'll sell the sitting chair. I need to make another 250 bucks. Um, who even needs windows, really, when you think about it? Or these supporting beams? Nah. There we go. Now I can afford a little mini fridge for Vidkund. There we go. Thank God the fridge comes with some food in it. Receive baby. No, no, no. No, you're not pawning him off. Wait, don't just put him in the cabinet. What? What did you do with him? The baby's crying. Did you put him in the cutlery drawer? Where's the baby? I don't understand. Oh, it's here in the puddle of piss. How did you get there? I got back. Bad news, man. The headmaster didn't show up for some reason. I guess he thought with the death of your sister that you would be a little preoccupied with the grieving process and all that, but it was a bit selfish to not let us know. The good news is we can afford food again. In hindsight, maybe the headmaster showing up for dinner and me not having food might not have improved your chances. I think God is angry. <laughs> okay, and now I need a toaster oven again because <laughs> the maid stole my other one. There we go. Oh, he went up a cooking skill point. With it has learned to prepare a new meal. It doesn't matter. <laughs> He's only going to make grilled cheese. Oh, oh. Oh, you don't need food. You're full, aren't you? <laughs> Eat that grilled cheese, though, before you die, because you came really close to dying. <laughs> Test tube one just grew up from a baby to a toddler. Why is it wearing a little suit? God, they do uh, grow up fast, don't they? <laughs> I mean, in this household, I guess you have to grow up fast. <laughs> Look at him already trying to fix the toilet. <laughs> I don't know what to do with the baby, though. Like, what am I supposed to do with the thing? I don't want to raise it. No, not more bills. I've just started to get a hold of my life here. <laughs> 608. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Look at this. I, I can't afford that. Test tube one, it's about time you get a job now and pull your own weight. He has trapped political talk the YouTuber inside here. Like, he can't get out. There's not enough space. Ah, okay, so we needed C grades before the headmaster will even consider coming over. What are your grades at? D minus. Oh, they have been falling, haven't they? What's wrong with you now? Oh no, he's going absolutely mad again. <laughs> oh, he's lost his sanity. Wait, are you the headmaster? I bet he is. He came by for a glance to see who's been constantly inviting him and he just noped out of there. Even as soon as you see the three gravestones by the pool, you know it's bad. <laughs> like at this stage, Sims can just sense it. Wait, it's your day off. Why are you wearing this? I invited his friend over, but I guess he just always wears the mascot outfit. Wait, hold on. I no, 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 no. I didn't mean to ask you to move in. Okay. I wanted to ask him to move in just to see if I could give him the baby. I want to give away the baby. I don't want it. I don't know what to do with the thing. It's just smelly and sleepy all the time. I find own place. <laughs> he just moved in. He's already like, where can I leave? <laughs> leave this hellhole. And you can take the baby. Perfect. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, this worked out perfectly. Get in. Come on. Get in the taxi. Stupid baby. The baby's too stupid to get in the taxi. Once again, it doesn't know what a horn is. It can't get down the stairs. <laughs> that was your one chance to get out of this crappy family and <laughs> you couldn't do it. Oh, wait there. You just disappeared. Okay, great. Maybe an abduction. Maybe you've been return to your home planet. Okay, we'll see how he turns out when someone else is raising him. Oh, 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 oh. What do we got here? Are you going into labor? Yep. <laughs> Fantastic. It's as if he's surprised. He's shocked. It's like, how could this have happened? This doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Even though this keeps happening to him. Test tube two. Wait. Vidkun died. <laughs> how did he die? What happened? Was he just scared to death? A ghost was there and it scared him. What? How? What happened? I think he actually got got scared to death. Well, goodbye. Well, I guess I'm stuck with you now. The thing we set out to do in like the very first episode is finally complete and it was done in the worst way possible. Just years of torture and being forced to breed alien babies and then he finally gets to depart this place. Whoa, Jesus, you popped into frame fast. Hello, I hope you're looking for me because most of the family is dead. 
political talk. Oh yeah, he still remains in this battle royale we call life. Ooh, I think I just broke my arm. All right, well, I think we will end it there. That is quite an eventful episode. We have two of Vidkun's babies, two alien babies, which we could use for some money-making scheme. I don't know, we'll think about it. We got a lot of options here. Let me know if you got any ideas for the YouTuber family. But that is all we have time for, so I really hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new, would love to have you around. Uh, thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Bye for now. Thank you.